So one of the most powerful things we can do with Google AdWords is to split test ads. So we can have different ads running and we can compete with them against each other to see which one will produce a higher click-through rate. Then we can stop using the one with the lower click-through rate and continuing to run the ad that has the higher click-through rate because that of course helps us with our quality score, ad rank and everything else to get more traffic at a lower cost. Now you can set up a bunch of different ads within the same ad group and however many you have, they'll rotate and they'll all compete with each other being shown for whatever keywords are set for that ad group. I suggest you run a minimum of two ads per ad group at all times. So those are always rotating and competing and you can continuously stop one that's not doing as well and then create a new test version to compete against what becomes called the new control, the one that does the best and the one that currently has the highest click-through rate. So you really want to run an ad test until one of the ads gets about 300 clicks in order for you to be confident that it's significantly, you know, statistically valid uh, that that ad is actually the winner. So what you need to do is you simply go into an ad group and I'm in one right now. It shows there's only one ad in this test account and this test ad group running. So we'd want to add another one. So we would just click add, add, text, add, and it automatically brings up everything from the other ad kind of to give us a shortcut. And all we simply want to do is make some changes to this ad. Typically you want to make small changes just to see what will work better. Uh, but you can make dramatic changes as well and test two completely different ads. But let's just change the headline. So we'll change it to want more traffic, question mark. Then we'll save the ad. Now we see in this ad group two ads, want more traffic and got, get leads and customers. Now these two ads are both active. They'll be rotated and they'll be shown. So they're both shown to the same keywords that we have set for this ad group and they'll both be accumulating stats. But how they're rotated and how they're shown has everything to do with our settings for our campaign. And it's at the campaign level. So we'll need to go to the campaign settings themselves in order to see how it's going to be rotated and what the setting will be. So we click on the campaign name. Now, up at the top, we'll see type, search network only, dash, and yours will say standard if you set it up the way I originally told you to. But what you want it to say is all features. I recommended standard in the beginning, this top option, just to keep things simple. But ultimately, you want to change it to all features. You can toggle back and forth. So it's not like once you set one, you can't access the features for the other. But once you move it to all features and then save that, this one's already on that, then it'll open up some new advanced options that you'll see at the bottom of this page. When you go down towards the bottom, one that you'll see says ad delivery, ad rotation, and frequency capping. If you go into that, it'll say ad rotation and what the setting is. It's currently set for optimized for clicks, show ads expected to provide more clicks. We don't want that. That's the default. So if we click edit, what we want is this bottom option, rotate indefinitely, show lower performing ads more evenly with higher performing ads and do not optimize. In other words, the ads will be shown the same amounts. It'll truly be an A-B split test where they'll both be shown, you know, if there's a thousand impressions, it'll average out to each one getting about 500 of them. So it'll average it equally. Now it says here, your ads may not perform as well with this option. Optimized ad rotation is recommended for most advertisers. But that's if someone's lazy and they just want Google to kind of run an ad for a little while. And then all of a sudden, uh, Google will say, no, let's get rid of that lower performing ad and we'll just only run this one from now on. The problem is Google typically doesn't run that test long enough for it to get the kind of confident data that we really need, which is 300 clicks minimum if we can let it run that long for each version. So when one, it's like a race to 300 clicks. When an ad gets to 300 clicks over the other one, then that one is determined the winner uh, statistically as the ad that will perform the best. But anyway, so you wanna use this option, rotate indefinitely and click save. And now any of the ad groups within this campaign, when we have multiple ads within the ad group, they'll all be rotated equally and they'll all share in the impressions but it's up to us to come in and manually pause them and keep them from running when we wanna isolate all the impressions towards other ads or even just one ad at any given time. But you have to change the setting in order to run a true A-B split test and have the ads get equal impressions.